Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be looking at the Gettier problem. This is a problem posed by Edmund Gettier, and it's a problem for the very definition of knowledge. A quick admonition before we get going, this is a basic introduction to the Gettier problem. If you want more information, check out Is Justified True Belief in Knowledge by Edmund Gettier, or The Gettier Problem on the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. With that out of the way, let's get started. Now, this is a problem for the very definition of knowledge. Knowledge is usually defined as justified true belief. Instead of claiming that these are not necessary for knowledge, in effect that you could have knowledge without it being justified, without it being true, without you believing in it, Gettier is going to claim that, in fact, having justified true belief is not sufficient for knowledge, that you need something more. So what Gettier is going to need to provide an example of is a case in which you have justified true belief, but it's not knowledge. Let's take a look at his thought experiment. Imagine that you have Smith and Jones, two roommates who are applying for a job. Smith watches Jones leave the house with exactly ten coins in his pocket. Later that day, the president of the company drops by and tells Smith that Jones is going to get the job. From this information, Smith concludes that the person who will get the job has ten coins in his pocket. It's justified in a non-skeptical sense because the president's told Smith that this is in fact the case and he knows or he saw Jones put ten coins in his pocket. It's belief because Smith holds the belief. The question is, is it true? Well, let's see. What if in fact the president was mistaken and Smith is going to get the job? But also, Smith, unbeknownst to him, in fact has ten coins in his pocket as well. It seems, then, that the claim, the person who will get the job has ten coins in his pocket, is in fact true, but it's not true for the reasons that Smith thinks it is. Therefore, Smith holding the belief the person who will get the job has ten coins in his pocket, it's a justified true belief, but we would think that it is not knowledge, and in fact most philosophers do hold that such a belief is not knowledge. Therefore, justified true belief is insufficient for knowledge. Watch this video and more at cardities.org and stay skeptical, everybody.